Peace be with you. My name is Alan Kiesler. I'm always thinking about self-sufficient villages. And this morning I'm doing just a very short live chat because so many people are objecting, and not so many people, but some people are objecting repeatedly and so strongly that why am I promoting the nation of Islam? Uh, I'm trying to mislead innocent Pakistanis. So I just want to say I would be a fool to promote the nation of Islam if it were for some selfish purpose. Uh, everyone would be turning against me for doing that. So I'm not promoting the nation of Islam to deceive anyone or fool anyone or mislead anyone. I'm doing it because the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has personally instructed me that the nation of Islam is a genuine Muslim movement that will help establish world peace and the kingdom of God on earth. That's the only reason. So this is a beautiful Sunday morning here and I just wanted to take a minute to show you just some of the beautiful garden. I was so inspired when I woke up this morning. Let's see. Here we go. Just all of these gorgeous flowers. This is a jacaranda tree. These are artichoke blossoms. This is Russian sage. <laughs> and of course this is the lily pond. The lilies have not yet opened up this morning because they open up a little bit later in the day. And here is a beautiful, I've shown you these before, but this is a beautiful lavender bush. And this is actually, I don't even know the name of this plant here. These are from Australia, I believe. <laughs> Got them. And here is some beautiful purple morning glories and white morning glories that have just bloomed. Some beautiful gladiolas. And many other. And these are agapanthas here, <laughs> which are going to be blooming soon, inshallah. And uh, this is our first uh, agapantha, if you remember from last year. This, these have these beautiful red flowers. These grow huge. This is the first one we've had budding and blooming. And so many other wonderful plants we have here. I just wanted to end by showing you this one here. This is the most gorgeous, dark, almost black, Hollyhock. So, <laughs> I especially wanted to show you these black hollyhocks because the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has also told me that the black people of the world, especially the Africans, especially the Afro-Americans and the African people, are the chosen people to establish world peace and the Kingdom of God on earth. Of course, the Pakistani people and Khalistani people also, and the people in Jerusalem also. But above all, and this is the message of the Nation of Islam, which is true, the black people, especially the Afro-American people, are the chosen people of God. Like the children of Israel were at the time of the Prophet Moses, they were rescued from slavery in Egypt, and Pharaoh opposed them strongly, <laughs> tried everything he could do to stop them from becoming free. So in the same way now, the pharaoh of the modern world, especially the American Satanists, <laughs> they're doing everything they can to stop the nation of Islam, to prevent the honorable Elijah Muhammad's followers, like the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan, from saving the Afro-American people, the present-day children of Israel. <laughs> saving them from the enslavement that they have been uh, suffering for hundreds of years. But uh, they are doing it, and it will succeed, inshallah. So please be happy, don't worry. The world is in a horrible condition, terrible, frightening condition, but God is in control, and everything will work out wonderfully. So I'm not going to take time, actually I don't have time now to take any questions, but I will look at them afterwards. I'm actually just getting ready to go to church soon. 
so I don't have time to take any. I see there are many comments. I will look at them afterwards and uh, try to reply to them. Okay, thank you very much. May God protect us all.